What up, YouTube? What's going on, boy? We are back, back. And I got to start off and say Happy New Year to all you guys, man. That's two double two two. We are in year 2022. That's right. Yeah, 2022. I think I said it right. Yeah, 2022. You know what the hell I mean. But anyway, man, we are back. Boom, vault, live than ever. Got a lot of stuff to catch up on, man. I got so much stuff that I did in 2021 that I never did post that I'm going to have to go back and post now to give you guys the 60 second rundown. But I'm not going to do that right now because I got a couple things going on today. So today, tomorrow that I'm making to uh, Harley Quinn that I started last year sometime by the time that you actually seen this the mars have already been done probably months in advance but i've got a new toy to introduce to the channel you probably already seen it like the first like in the little previews of this video so i know you already know which direction is going so i introduced that later on in the video uh also i got a little go-kart race going on today man it's the same old thing but we got a, a different twist to everything man this year we're going harder than ever harder than we did in 2021 2020 2019 or 2018 man we're going harder than ever this year man i'm being more consistent i gotta pick up where i left off last time but that's neither here nor there and i'm not gonna hold you too long but along with everything else man at the end of the video i catch you up on everything that's been going on behind the scenes with me and what i've been doing where i've been where's everything getting now and what are we doing in 2022 that's so different than the rest of the time or whatever but without no further ado we're going to get started and get on the on the move and the roll with Harley Quinn and install her new head pipe. So let's get to it. So this is what the slimline Vanson Hines kit looks like. It comes with your head pipe, your mid pipe. Factory slip-ons will, will slip directly on the doors. So what I'm gonna do within this video, like I said, in all of my videos, I don't like to bore you, so I don't wanna get the play-by-play -play description of what's going on. So I'm gonna do like a time-lapse. Well, within the time-lapse, I'm explaining what I've been doing, which step of the process that I'm in. It's very straightforward and simple. The directions are easy to read and comprehend. So anybody can do it. If, but uh, I'm gonna sit up, you know, let me get started because I'm losing daylight and I gotta have it to the dyno first thing in the morning. Phones removed. We got all the heat covers off. We got my saddlebags off. We, uh, we have all the heat shields, like I said before. So we've basically removed everything. You have to move everything from the front back forward. So we're gonna move this last heat shield. Then we gotta remove my bolts, and then the, the, the factory header will be ready to come off. Then we'll be ready to all the advanced highs. The true dual kit. Pretty straightforward process, but you just have to be patient with it. Don't rush. Don't rush while you're doing it. But very feasible, very easy for anyone to do it. If you want to tackle this project by yourself, no problem, no need to be worried. If you have look, a small smidgen of mechanical skills, you can do this. Yeah, what up, YouTube? Oh, back again. So today, man, uh, I know you seen the you seen the video, you seen the little B rolls, the little clips, or whatever. So you pretty much know what's new to the channel. And what do we have new to the channel? We have a 2002 WS6 Trans Am Pontiac uh, that I recently just purchased. The crazy part about it, one of those situations that I just ran across, it was just it was on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, I saw it. I kind of thought it was a scam. I'm gonna be honest about it. The dude had a list for seven. So I looked at it and I said, damn, on the on the rough end, he calls going for twelve and thirteen thousand. But little old me just so happened to look up and happen to be my lucky day. I'm gonna bring a whole lot of more content with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let you guys determine what am I gonna do with the car. Now in the comment section, to flood me with it. Give me some ideas of what you think i should do and uh, i'm gonna go off the bdl drum a little bit man and um we can do it that way but let me give y'all a little, 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 little walk around tour of what i got going on got a couple things need to be uh, tightened up probably the fenders you can see they have gaps in them 
but the headlights and everything work. The brand new battery in it. All the fluids checked out. I haven't serviced it or nothing because I just recently just got it in. Good running car. Green car that I wanted to buy. I got a couple different models that I can actually do to it that I'm gonna try it along the way. But right now, it's, I'm gonna send it out to the shop to get a full, like full diagnostic and everything. Let me know exactly what I'm working with and exactly what, what direction they were headed. I already have an engine for it, so I already have a bill kind of sorted in mind for it already, but I wanna hear what you guys or have to say in which which way do you would you want to see this car go on the channel so yeah though man it's a pretty solid car um one of my dream cars actually man one of the main reasons why i bought this car is one of my favorite movies growing up was always smoking the bandit so i always said if i had a chance to buy a trans am i would always buy one now which generation would it be i didn't have an idea i actually just ran across this car just because of like an idea that i had just out of the thin blue air one day i just woke up and said Hey, I wonder how much would a WS6 Trans Am cost? On the average, they cost about ten to twelve, twelve thousand, depending on the condition that they're in. A lot of times, but this one right here was a rare find. He actually didn't know exactly what he had. Um, with that, that being said, I took full advantage of the situation and I went ahead and bought it. Also, uh, updates for the truck coming up in the next video. You will see this go kart thing is taking off more and more. That the climate is changing right now where we at. So you can be looking forward to see a lot more of that there. I got a lot more four-wheeler and dirt bike country coming too. I just haven't had the time to really edit it and put it out. But man, I appreciate you guys rocking with me. But let me get up out of here though. Main thing that always tears up on them is the power steering cooler. I know this sounds strange, it's power steering cooler, which is strange enough. It, it it takes the the power steering pump and actually takes the fluid out of it and sends it through the upper radiator hose. One of the craziest, the most silliest designs I ever seen. And I've been working on cars forever in a day, and I've never really seen a car like this. But it's one of the problems over a period of time. So it allows the the fluid from the power steering system to transfer over into the cooling system of the car. So what that does, it kind of creates a lot of confusion or for nothing. And I thought I had a blown head gasket, which, which I didn't. So now what I'm gonna do, the power steering coolant mod, and that's something that uh, I see a lot of people with these cars do it. I got online, did a lot of researching and, and looking into it, and I got it, all the, the things I needed to, to pull it off. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove everything on top of the motor. Well, so we can get it off. Remove all of these. And this whole assembly will remove by itself and plug these. Plug. So once you remove the whole top cord, they you access to that. Sit there right now. So now, as you can see, this is your upper radio. As you can see, it's already soaked and it looks kind of saturated. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove that. And once that comes out, I replace it with my new. As you, if you can see, and look look at the oil saturation. That's why I say it's a good idea to flush your cooling system after. Two hours later. Took a mighty vac vacuum the system down, man. This, this is a long, drawn out process to really flush all this antifreeze out of my power steering system, man. I've been out here like for the past two hours. You just haven't seen it.
Come on, um, come on, RT. Come on, RT. Come on, RT. Come on, RT. Boom. Hey, boom. Hey, boom. I saw that, you son of a bitch. You did that on purpose. You go to wait in your grave. I got the evidence. Put the evidence in the car. But, but you but put the evidence in the car. I got to barbecue your ass in molasses. Sir. Yes, sir. Hey, this ass up. That nigga brought that bitch down to it. Why? Hey, this ass up. Aka uh, Aka uh, Fat Mobile. Hey, uh, Clue, why the hell did you paint this off, Ike? I just tried to see. That shit burnt all the time you crank it up. No, that ain't any engine paint. Yeah, it is. Engine paint. Hey, yo, it's in that bag, bro. Oh. What it gonna got? What it gonna got them be? What it gonna got them be, Clue? What it gonna be, Clue? Huh? What it gonna be? Come on, man. You came out better. Jay, break your ass on now. You'll take all day. Three mailbox. Three. Pole where? That pole right here? They pole right here where your truck is. What's all that? They pole right up. He said three mailbox down. One, two, three. three. Yeah. From the pole, from that. From the pole. To, to the gray, to the gray mailbox. Yeah, nah, well, hey, matter of fact, you call it, and I whatever you want, I get. It. Man, come on, man. Hey. We gonna run it by. What? That nigga stripping. Ooh, woo. He said whatever you want, we'll give it to you. Now, now how you feeling, Jay? I don't know. What y'all say? Uh, Probably be a goddamn brawl out here, boy. Facebook, man, let me do this shit, man. I'm too clean. Got that clip. Go get your cup of tap hands in, Clip. Go get your Made. I forgot that they motherfucker flying, boy. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we. That motherfucker spin like hell. Who's driving that bitch though? Yeah, that, that bitch, it, it, it do pretty good though. That spinning ain't winning no one. Get him up out of here then. Get him up out of here. Yeah, yeah, that's that thing got that bitch. Oh, yo. No present, man. No present, man. Oh, shit. That ain't no present. That bitch, that bitch brand new though. That's a brand new bag. Yo. I mean, damn. I ain't racing yet. Come on with the gauge, Jay. Come on with the gauge. Not a, not a truck, though.
Yeah, Jack. Yeah, just hold it, James. Just hold it steady. I, I got my foot on it. Get on basically like a brief little kind of rundown of what's actually been going on with me but it's not exactly accurate man in the past year or so man i've really just dropped the ball as far as consistency goes with the youtube channel and actually just all with my social media and everything keeping everybody updated and posted on what's going on this year man uh, i'm gonna try to be more consistent like i said earlier also man i'm gonna try to get back on tour again if this corona situation permits and lets me do so but man, it's been it's been hard in the past year or so to actually be like to be more so consistent because it's kind of like I lost focus in a sense. For me, that's really not an excuse. I've had everything. I've had the stuff to to produce the content. I've actually been recording and have the content to deliver and have it edited. I just for some strange reason I never was just uploading. I was just failing to upload, and that was just part of what I was running into along the way. It was just. I lost kind of like the focus and the motivation of the situation. So now what I'm trying to do at this point is basically like catch lightning in a bottle. It's almost sometimes impossible, but it's, it's feasible. And I've, I've got to that point once before so I can do it again. So basically just like I went on a hiatus and took a break, but I'm back, I'm back again now. And this time I have a lot more to show you guys to, to take you on along the way with me. I will be actually this time doing a lot more traveling with a lot of more different things i've had this time i have different avenues to travel like i, I I've, I've now entered into the car world still have all, all of the bikes i have the harley i have the go cars i have the rc cars i have pretty much everything that you can possibly imagine to make content on a consistent basis that i than i've ever had in my whole five year ten tenure of even doing youtube so Right now, man, uh, I appreciate all the love and support like I've always seen, and more now than any time. Man, uh, I'm just focusing on just staying more so consistent and delivering the content to you guys. So, man, uh, be on the lookout. Tell all your friends. Let everybody know. Boone's vlog is back and full in effect. All of 2022 and beyond. Man, I got some new things on the way. More merch, more traveling, and even more situations and projects are on the way. But right now, man, it's getting kind of late. I got to get out of here. Cause we got to get up tomorrow. I got got some things to do, but I promise you, from here on out, I make the promise to the champ, all of my subs and whoever else to follow. From this point on, you have my word. I'll be more so consistent. With, with no further ado, and not to hold you too long, this has been another, another edition of Boom Vlogs Live at Five Overnight. And uh, now you can get back to the closing of the video. I holler at you guys. Peace.